Hi, welcome to Breakfast with John. I hope you're having a great breakfast. You had a great breakfast. I'm having some really nice banana coconut muffins, and uh, we're using coconut flour in this particular one. And coconut flour I like a lot because it's really just shredded coconut, which is a healthy fat and some fiber, and that's all it is. There's nothing in there to cause any problems. There's no grain, there's no gluten, there's nothing to elevate your insulin levels. And, um, and it makes a nice consistency with some eggs and some bananas. So this particular one's got coconut flour, eggs, bananas, a little bit of almond milk. Uh, we sprinkled some chia seeds and some blueberries on the top, a little bit of coconut yogurt. These are great muffins, too, that you can take with you to work for afternoon snacks. You can put in kids' lunch boxes, and, uh, and kids really do love them. So great for breakfast, great for snacks, and uh, I, I highly recommend them. Definitely give them a try. Also, a lot of people are asking about gluten more and more these days. What's wrong with gluten? Why should we avoid it? So gluten is this kind of gluey substance that's in most grains, especially wheat and corn and things like that. And, uh, and it causes a lot of problems, and we're just discovering more and more what these problems are. Number one, it actually blocks your body's ability to absorb other nutrients. So you're interfering with your digestion, which is a big problem. And it's got certain enzymes and properties in it that causes the lining of your intestines to become more permeable and you develop a condition known as leaky gut syndrome. And so what happens is food that's not fully digested leaks into your blood supply and it becomes toxic because it's not fully digested. Ideally, things get broken down into really, really small parts before they permeate your intestines and then your bloodstream can handle it. But when it's just these chunks of undigested material, it becomes very, very toxic. And because it's toxic, it overworks your immune system and a couple of things happen. Number one, you develop an inflammatory response. It causes inflammation. The hormones involved in that inflammation activate your fat programs. They cause insulin resistance, they cause leptin resistance, they cause you, your metabolism to slow and all these different things that cause you to gain weight. So the inflammatory response is really bad and it's a chronic thing because most of us are having gluten three or four times a day every day. So we have this chronic inflammatory response causing us to gain weight. Also, when your immune system gets overworked, it causes autoimmune problems like chronic fatigue syndrome. Your immune system gets confused and starts attacking different organs and glands like your thyroid and you develop Hashimoto's disease and also different levels of autism and ADD are caused by an overworked immune system. So you're taxing your whole body, causing an inflammatory response, causing you to gain weight, causing chronic fatigue, and, it, and also inhibiting your body's ability to digest nutrients. So that's why we're always looking for alternatives to grains, that were, like the coconut flours, the chia flours. And in general, even if you are having grains, look for grains that are gluten-free and will save a lot of problems. Recently, there was a study done where they took two groups of rats, fed them a high, both a high fat diet, which normally is known to cause rats to gain weight, but what they discovered is it's not really the fat because one group was gluten free and the other group had gluten. The group of rats that were fed gluten gained weight, the group of rats that were fed a high fat diet without gluten did not get any weight. So it's not the fat, it's the gluten. So keep an eye out for gluten and whenever you can find alternatives. So that's it. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, my office hours are below. Give me a call. I'd love to speak to you. Otherwise, take care and I'll speak to you soon.